Saturday morning, I wake up to find envelopes under the door again. Our allowances, and one extra. My parents finally wrote to me! I open up the envelope, intending to skim through it quickly, but it turns out there's not much to skim through. They send their love and hope I'm having fun at, quote, boarding school. That's it. No mention of what they've been doing, no questions about any friends I've made, not even any questions about magic. How can they not ask about magic? Maybe they're Before not I... supposed to. Yeah, maybe they got their memories wiped. Before I got here, I had no idea what was possible. There was only that brief moment of magic back when I was 13 before the officials came to turn off the power and give me the choice. For three years, I've had to wait and wonder. And now I'm finally starting to discover this entire world of possibilities, and they don't even ask? Maybe they don't want to bother me in case I'm busy, or they figure I'll tell them what I want to tell them. I still haven't written, so I'm bad. I will write them a letter. Tomorrow. Really. But for today, I have to decide whether or not to go out. Study. Yeah, we'll let the money pile up before we go spend it. Yeah. Studying! Success! Gained one smart, two stress. Not sure if that was worth it. It made us a little bit smarter and our stress went up slightly. After breakfast, I sit down to figure out what to write my parents. I couldn't tell them about the strange professors here. Or, I could tell them about the strange professors here, but I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. There are lots of silly st <laughs> You're like sleeping. <laughs> there are lots of silly stories about things that happened during initiation, but I'm not sure if you can really appreciate them if you weren't there. They might think it sounds like bullying. I guess I should tell them about my bedroom and the food here, things like that, so they don't worry about me. They want to know that I get up, that I get enough sleep and I remember to brush my teeth. But Tim, we haven't brushed our teeth all two weeks! Oh crap. Or gone, to the, <laughs> or gone to the bathroom or eaten anything. No, 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 you, you had some snacks at, at the party. Okay. You're right, you're right. And my roommates, I should write about them. We've been so busy, we don't know each other all that well yet, but they're both good people. Poor Ellen's had a hard time of it this week with initiation. I'm sure glad it's all over. Or, I'm sure she's glad it's all over. As for magic, well, I've learned a few things, but I haven't really done proper magic yet. Just classroom exercises, so I'll wait a while before I tell them much about that. Mel doesn't go out on Sundays, so I fold my letter up and stick it in an envelope, but I don't seal it yet. I can get a stamp from the on-campus post office tomorrow. I think I'll go for a walk. Time for more spying. Yep. I wander around the campus, wondering how long the leaves will stay green. This is a magical place, so it might be like this all year. I'd miss the fall colors, though. I wonder what witches and wizards do for Halloween. Dress up like normal people? As I'm thinking that, my own personal Halloween decoration makes an <laughs> appearance. That's mean. <laughs> Hi, Damien. He looks at me oddly. Where are you up to? Want to do something together? Why? To be friendly? Because we're bored? Not that bored. Uh-oh. Without a further word, he brushes past me and away. What just happened here? Virginia comes up behind me. I told you so told me what? That he's evil. I was just talking to my brother about him to get the scoop. He's a total womanizer. William says last year he left every sophomore in Butterfly Hall crying in the bathroom at some point. He gets girls' hopes up, then when they fall in love with them, he dumps them. I'm not dating him. The point is, he's a jerk. Forget you ever knew him. You'll be better off. There must be some misunderstanding. I know Virginia doesn't like Damien, but he was nice to me. Maybe he's just having a really bad day. If he doesn't want to talk to me right now, there's no point in chasing after him. Come on, let's go to the gym and play. Okay. Seriously, I don't want to go to the gym. Yeah. Alright. Still nothing? Still nothing. Spellbook. We got a new option. Let's see. That just tells us what we already know. Yeah. Alright, time to save again. Alright. It's like, I might complain about these star wipes, but since there's stars freaking everywhere, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> on Monday morning, I set off across the campus on my way to breakfast. Plus, this is, like, I think the first game that guy made. He's only made two, so... 
Yeah. It's like really obvious that Long Live the Queen has better production than this game does. But I'm liking this. Hey, wait up. Phew, I caught ya. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> what? Just when you did that. <laughs> Phew, I caught ya. <laughs> Sign ups for clubs is this week. I wanted to make sure you were on board for the sports team. Liz next door said no, but Anish is in. Um, what sports are we doing exactly? Does it matter? Yes. We can vote on that later. First, I have to get enough people to agree and find out what sort of team we can manage. Promise you'll join? Sure, I guess. Yeah, now we have to. Great. We'll have official sign-ups on Wednesday afternoon, so go to the gym then. And as long as we're both doing it, Ellen will have to stop studying all the time and join in. She waves and jogs away. Well, so what am I going to do this week? Well, now we have to go to the gym on Wednesday. Yeah. We'll at least right. see what they want to do, and if it sucks, then I'll be like, no. Yep. All right, so I'm guessing we do more blue, green, black, and white. We'll just have to forego red right now. At least we learned a red spell. Exactly. This way we'll get a little bit of that spell from each. I want to start with green. Then we'll do oh. blue. Then I don't we'll see do the point because it just blue, scrolls through. Unless something happens. Ah. Diagnosis. Determines the current state of health of a living target and locates ailments and injuries. That'll be useful, especially in the gym. <laughs> Blue magic. Yes, it did go up by two. Light. A gentle glow improves visibility in the caster's location. Gym. One strong, one stress. Man, Jim even stresses us out. Oh, it's after class. Alright. So oh, we so we might not right. have had to go. Damn it. Yeah. Jim might just make us stronger. Oh well. I arrive at the gym to see a haphazard collection of booths and tables and clouds of underclassmen swirling around them. Raven Darkstar from Snake Hall is with a group that appears to be the Drama Club. Someone else has a Save the Dragons banner. Save them from what? Ellen's already here, standing by the wall, looking around before joining the throg. throng. She's totally, like, casing the joint. Yes. <laughs> what to steal? Hey, you guys. Come on, you gotta put your names on the form to make it official. My sign-up's over there. Eh? <laughs> Just the simpleness of that. <laughs> it's like, eh? <laughs> Virginia grabs us both and drags us over to her station. Sign it! Sign it! <laughs> <laughs> all right, already. Let go of my wrist. That's my stealing wrist. <laughs> oh, so my booting arm. <laughs> Sorry. You guys sign it. I'll have to go grab some more people. She hurries away. Ellen sighs and picks up the pen. Let her sign up. Tell her she doesn't have to. Uh, forget her. Let her sign up. She'll steal all the balls. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe she'll steal all the gym equipment and we won't have to play. I wait for <laughs> Ellen to write her name on the form, then I sign beneath that. I'm going to look... Oh, I thought that was neutral text. I'm going to look around and see what other clubs have have to offer to steal. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess I should too. Oh god, she's making us steal things. <laughs> I wonder if magical universities care what clubs you were in, ma were in at magical school. Is there a magical honor society? So now I'm wondering if we tell her she doesn't have to, if that means we automatically won't do it. And then if Virginia would get mad at us and we'd have to confront her at some point. Uh, I think you would still sign up for it at what, or maybe you'd have had a choice to sign up for it or not. But Although I, could, she would be I could see Virginia being like, that's okay, like slap us on the back, like, you didn't have to join. Like, nah, I see her doing the opposite, like, but you promised. Maybe. I, I don't know. It could go either way. As Ellen uh, and I move... <laughs> just came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> As Ellen and I move around the room, I see someone jump up onto the stage. Oh, that's why I jumped up. Whoop! <laughs> it's Donald, Virginia's other brother. <laughs> he pounds his fist on his chest a few times, then takes a deep breath. Oh god, he's singing. <laughs> I'll do this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Brooms! For old shoes. 
shoes, pouch rings, boots, and boo skins. And now everybody stopped watching the video. <laughs> He has a surprisingly good voice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm... Even though I'm smart, I'm bad at judging music. Uh, you have a lot of intelligence, just not a lot of wisdom. Yeah. Like, what are you trying to say, Jordan? <laughs> you don't like the sound of my voice? Uh, strong and clear, even if the words are nonsense. Uh, <laughs> will he buy any new broom? And then Jacob from Falcon Hall stands up beside him and starts the song from the beginning as Donald continues. It's a round like Frere Jacques, or Frere Jacques, but a strange one. After they finish singing about spools and sealing wax or whatever, the boys make grandiose bows and I applaud along with the other students who were paying attention. It's not my kind of music, but they were pretty good at singing it. Come this way to sign up for the chorale! They wave and jump up uh, wave and jump down from the stage. Coral sounds like fun. I wonder if it's supposed to be like coral? Like chorus? I've just never seen that word before. Say coral. Coral, coral be, has lots of people. And then, so and then if we'd go, we'd be like, I thought we were wrangling cows. <laughs> eh. No, I don't think we should go because that would just add more stress and crap. Yeah. I'm not interested, but I follow Ellen anyway to be polite. Hello, ladies! Here to sign up for... Wait, I know you! How much rehearsal do you have to be... I have to... Do you have to... Do you have to... I'm so flustered! <laughs> by your magical voice! <laughs> How much rehearsal do you have to do to be... In... In choral... Choral... Say choral, I don't care. You're... Your and roommates, what are you doing here? Urchin. She said you were joining her stupid sports thing. I guess he calls Virginia Urchin. I can't do both. Well, what if we schedule things at the same time? You gotta pick which side you're on. Mine or hers. That's rude. But Ellen just laughs. Tee hee! It's okay. I know how you feel. I have a little sister too. You do? You never mentioned her. Little sister! <laughs> We're very different people. She hides in the closet. She's she... not allowed out. She's not really my sister. See, I was thinking. <laughs> okay. I was thinking. We're very different people. She gives people stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with her? <laughs> she thinks she's Santa Claus. <laughs> Jenny is not interested in magic, or books, or sports. She just wants to be a ballerina, and I, and have everybody love her. Is she spoiled rotten? Does she get away with everything, even if she started it? Basically. <laughs> ah. See? Little sisters are a menace! One time, your dish melted a cherry ice pop all over my math work, and mom and dad wouldn't believe I didn't do it. As if I eat that junk. Donald doesn't like sweets. Noted. <laughs> Alright. So they wouldn't spell it off, and I had to hear about it though, from them and my teacher at school. Because she's a messy eater. Jenny used to hate it if I locked my door to my study in private and she would stand outside and scream until Mama would make me let her in. But I'm in the bathroom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. Drink more Ovaltine. <laughs> I wonder how many people will get that. Everybody, come on, man. <laughs> Anyway, nobody's, nobody's gonna watch this anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's cool if you want to sign up for a corral. I'd like to try, but if it gets in the way of my schoolwork, I'll have to stop. Yeah, whatever. 
What about you? Uh, whatever your name is. Me? There's no way I'm sing singing in public. I think I better go see how Virginia's doing. <laughs> <laughs>